In this video, I am going to show you how to add the PLTW tool library for the 2.3.4, and then later we're going to use 2.3.6 um, to generate tool paths in Fusion 360. So I'm going to show you how to add that tool library. So in our module with the assignments I have added the tool library PLTW tool library I will place this video in here labeled how to install the PLTW library okay so you're gonna to have to download this file it's gonna go into your download so I'm gonna pick this and I'm gonna say download PLTW um, this is the file format that it is you're not gonna be able to open it you're just gonna to have to import it in Okay, so I am going to switch over to Fusion. So I am going to go to the tool library, which is up here. And as I discussed in, previously in class, I said if I'm making a separate tool or something, I might want to go with the current document that I'm in. But in this case, it doesn't allow me to add or import. Oh, I take that back. It says that I can import a library to the cloud. I checked earlier and I didn't think that I could. So I'm going to pick import. And it pops up for my folders. It's in the download. Here it is. I'm going to pick it. I'm going to say open. Boom there it is so in my cloud here's my PLTW I recommend putting it in the cloud because that means if I'm on my Chromebook or oh, then I switched because I got a new desktop or a laptop or I'm a hybrid student and I come in and I only have a Chromebook at home but I can use the computers at school um, these tools will then be there okay now there's no guarantee that the feeds and the speeds are correct. There's no guarantee that the tool number is correct. Um, but one of the tools that we were we were missing was this engraver for one of the uh, assignments. So um, they're here now, and this is the process. So um, this is how you add a tool library. And so I will put this video in. You need to download and import this uh, tool library for PLTW to the cloud.